Hello friends, I'm Bob. In this video, I will be showing you the solution to the Macquarie series of Y is equals to ln bracket 1 plus tangent x up to and including the x to the power 4 terms using the formula shown in this video. Before I start showing the solution, if you guys like the video, have you press the thumbs up icon below this video. Using the fundamentals of the Macquarie series formula shown, the function of x can be expressed as an infinite series in which we need to find the following before we can express the function in terms of the Macron series. F0 is the function evaluating at x equals 0. F prime 0 is the function differentiated once and evaluated at x equals 0. F double prime 0 is the function differentiated twice and evaluated at x equals 0. F triple prime 0 is the function differentiated three times and evaluated at x equals 0. And f4 times prime 0 is the function differentiated 4 times and evaluated x equals 0. For this particular problem, we will be expressing the Maclaurin series of ln bracket 1 plus tangent x up to and including the x to the power of 4 terms. We start off by finding what is my fx. So we let fx be equals to ln 1 plus tangent x. And if we were to differentiate the function one time, we get the following. So this would be 1 plus tangent x, and we differentiate 1 plus tangent x in our numerator to get secant square x. Next, to find y is my f double prime x, I differentiate the f prime x one more time. I get the following solution. In the denominator, I square the 1 plus tangent x. In the numerator, I have 1 plus tangent x. And then I differentiate the secant square x, I get 2 times the secant x, secant x, tangent x, subtracting away, I keep the secant square x as it is, and I differentiate 1 plus tangent x, I get secant square x. In this particular case, we are applying the quotient rule of differentiation. We simplify the fraction. And we get the following in the denominator, we just let it as it is. Whereas in the numerator, we can simplify to become 2 times the secant square x tangent x plus 2 times the secant square x tangent square x, subtracting away secant to the power of 4x. And from here, I would factorize secant square x. I get the following, which is 2 times the tangent x plus 2 tangent square x, subtracting away secant square x over 1 plus tangent x. So this is equals to the secant square x, 2 times tangent x plus 2 times tangent square x. Whereas for this one, I will apply the trigonometry identity that my tangent square x plus 1 is equal to secant square x over 1 plus tangent x square. And then now I can simplify further. So this will become secant square x 2 times tangent x plus tangent square x. I take out the bracket subtracting away 1 over 1 plus tangent x square. I can transform this to become secant square x, square bracket 2 times tangent x plus tangent square x plus 1 minus 2 over 1 plus tangent x square. And I can split this up into two fractions. So the first fraction will be secant square x, bracket 2 times tangent x, plus tangent square x plus 1, over 1 plus tangent x square, subtracting away 2 secant square x over 1 plus tangent x square. This whole term is also equals to 1 plus tangent x, the holding square. So in the end, my f double prime x is just basically secant square x minus away 2 times the secant square x over 1 plus tangent x, the holding square. 
The next part we're going to find is F triple prime X by differentiating F double prime X one time. I get the following. My secant square X becomes 2 secant X secant X tangent X. Whereas for the second term, I apply the quotient rule of differentiation. So I first square the denominator and then I bring up 1 plus tangent X square. I differentiate 2 secant square x, I get 2 times 2 secant x, secant x, tangent x. Subtracting away 2 secant square x as it is, I differentiate 1 plus tangent x square. So just 2 times 1 plus tangent x, differentiating 1 plus tangent x, I get secant square x. The next part I will do is I will factorize. I will factorize the 1 plus tangent x and I get the following. So I simplify the first term. There will be 4 secant square x tangent x plus 4 secant square x tangent square x subtracting away 4 secant to the power of 4x. I can further factorize in the numerator 4 secant square x. So I left with tangent x plus tangent square x subtracting away secant square x then the whole thing divided by 1 plus tangent x to the power of 4 after which what we will do is in the numerator I can convert my secant square x by applying the trigonometry identity so this and this will cancel off basically I get 4 secant square x tangent x uh, subtract 1 over 1 plus tangent x the whole thing cube after which the next step I can do is I can express this whole thing in the square bracket as 1 plus tangent x minus 2 1 plus tangent x to the power 3 which now means that I can Split the fraction up into two fractions. The first will be 4 times secant square x, 1 plus tangent x over 1 plus tangent x to the power 3 plus 8 times secant square x over 1 plus tangent x to the power 3. This and this can be cancelled off. And my f triple prime x is just 2 times of secant square x tangent x Subtracting away 4 secant square x over 1 plus tangent x to the power of 2 plus 8 times secant square x over 1 plus tangent x cubed. After finding what is my f triple prime x, which is 2 secant square x tangent x subtracting away 4 secant square x over 1 plus tangent x the holding square plus 8 secant square x over 1 plus tangent x to the power of 3. I can now move on to find what is my f4 times prime x. So there will be a lot of differentiation involved. The first thing will involve the product rule of differentiation. First, we will differentiate secant square x. I get 2 times of secant x, secant x tangent x. And then what I will do is I will keep the secant square x, I will differentiate tangent x, that will be secant square x. Moving on next, I will differentiate what is uh, f4 times prime x by applying the quotient rule of differentiation. So I square the denominator, I bring it up to the numerator, and then I differentiate the 4 secant square x. Recall that 4 secant square x, differentiating it, it will be 2 times secant x, secant x, tangent x. Subtracting away, we keep the 2 secant square x as it is. And then we differentiate the 1 plus tangent x, the holding square. That will be 2 times 1 plus tangent x. And differentiating 1 plus tangent x, it will be secant square x. This is the second term. And the last term, we will also apply the quotient rule of differentiation. 
In the denominator, we will square it. It will be 1 plus tangent x to the power of 6 in the numerator, 1 plus tangent x cubed. And differentiating 8 secant squared x, I get 8 times 2 secant x, secant x tangent x. Subtracting away, we keep the 8 secant squared as it is, and we differentiate 1 plus tangent x to the power 3. So there's 3 times 1 plus tangent x squared, and then differentiating 1 plus tangent x is secant squared x. Pretty much can stop here. And the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute my x equals to 0 into all the functions here. We start with f0. So for f0, substituting f equals to 0 into fx. Basically, it's just ln 1 plus tangent 0 is 0. So ln 1 is 0. f prime 0, substituting x equals to 0 into f prime x. The numerator is 1. The denominator is 1. So we get 1. f double prime 0, substituting x equals 0 into f double prime x. For the first term itself, it's 1. For the second term itself, the numerator is negative 2. The denominator is 1. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. How about f triple prime 0? The first term is 0 because of tangent x. The second term is negative 4. Because the numerator is negative 4, the denominator is 1. The third term itself is positive 8. So we have 4. How about f4 times prime 0? Substituting x equals to 0 into f4 times prime x. So there are 6 terms. The first term gives us 0. The second term gives us 2. Then we move on to this part here. The third term here. This term gives us 0. For this term itself gives us 8. For the fifth term, this term gives us 0 because of tangent x. And for this particular term gives us 24. So we have here 2 plus 8 subtracting away 24. This gives us negative 14. So once I found my f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, f triple prime 0, and f4 times prime 0, I can substitute it into the formula to express my Maclaurin series up to and including the x to the power 4 terms. I get the following. Law 1 plus tangent x is approximately equals to my f0 is 0. My f prime 0 is x times 1 over 1. So there's x. My f double prime 0 is negative 1, so we have x squared negative 1 over 2 factorial. How about the x cubed term? It will be x cubed times 4 over 3 factorial. And last but not least, the x to the power 4 terms is negative 14 x to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial. So this is equals to x minus x squared over 2 plus 2x cubed over 3 subtracting away 7x to the power 4 over 12 and this is the final answer to the McLaurin series of y is equal to the law 1 plus tangent x up to and including the x to the power 4 terms which is x minus x squared over 2 plus 2x cubed over 3 minus away 7x to the power 4 over 12 if you guys like the solution, I'm impressed. These times I can do consider to subscribe for more McLaurin series videos. My name is Bob. Thank you guys for your support and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye guys.